Welcome to Goodwill Commodities educational video tutorial about commodity trading. In this video presentation we are going to see what is futures trading. Futures are modified exchange traded version of forward contract. Forward contracts are used by manufacturers, physical buyer and sellers to minimize their risk on price variation. For example, consider a farmer who is the actual producer of rice. A farmer should be worried about the fall in price because the price should not fall below his production cost if he is ready to harvest after three months. Consider a manufacturer or distributor. He should be worried about the increase in the price because he should purchase the goods required before the price increases so that he can fix a considerable margin for profit. So what do they do in order to minimize their risk in price variation? They both agreed for something. The farmer agrees to sell 1000 kgs of rice at rupees 40 per kg today which is to be delivered after 3 months. So, the distributor or manufacturer also agrees to buy 1000 kg of rice at rupees 40 per kg today to be delivered after 3 months whatever may be the market price. Both farmer and the distributor or manufacturer entered into contract to fix the price risk. This is called forward contract. In this particular example, we saw two parties agrees to hedge their risk on price before the actual product, in this case rice, is delivered. In the earlier video tutorial, we saw what are derivatives. Now you should get a clear picture about futures derivative trading. Now let us see how this is happening in the futures market. Let us assume the same example, uh, the same example which we took for farmers and manufacturer. In this particular case, both the farmer and the manufacturer want to hedge their risk in a different way. In the first month, the market price is rupees 40 per kg of rice. Both the farmer and the manufacturer enter into a contract where the farmer agrees to sell 1000 kgs of rice at rupees 40 and the manufacturer also agrees to buy 1000 kgs of rice at rupees 40. This is the first contract entered between both the farmer and the manufacturer. Now comes the second month. In the second month, you see the market price is at rupees 60 per kg. Now the farmer thinks, okay, I made a mistake. See, the price of rice is rising. So he is worried. Now he is particularly worried about the increase in the price. But what the distributor or the manufacturer he is thinking? He thinks that, okay, this is just a price spike. So this is a good price for selling it. So what happened? Both entered, both the former and the distributor entered into a second contract where the manufacturer or the distributor agrees to sell 1000 kg of rice at rupees 60 at the market price to the former. So this is the beauty in the futures market. You can take every single contract separately within the fixed time because they both know that uh, it is a three month contract. In the earlier case, we took a three month contract as an example. This is a three month contract. Still they have time so that they can enter into multiple contracts and they can consider each and every contract separately. This is the real beauty in futures market. Now let us see what happened in the third month because the contract will expire in the third month. So in the third month, the market price is same, rupees 60 per kg and the contract expires. 
so who would have gained the manufacturer would have gained rupees 20 per kg that is rupees 20000 for 1000 kgs now if you replace both the manufacturers and farmers with a trader in the earlier example we saw both actual buyers and sellers participated but if they don't have any idea to take physical delivery of the underlying asset in the previous example which was rice but they want to make use of the price variation to make profit then they are called traders who are speculating on the price of rice and they make use of the price fluctuation to gain profit without any worry or any idea about touching or taking delivery of the underlying asset in the earlier case which was rice. In futures market, anybody as a trader can take advantage of the price fluctuation and trade on a particular commodity. Now let us see how this futures market works in the exchanges. We will take the same example of rice as an underlying asset with 3 month contract expiry. Now let us assume there are 3 traders A, B and C. In the first month the market price is around 40 per kg. So the trader A thought ok it is a good price to buy rice. But at the same time trader B thought ok this is a good price to sell rice at 40 per kg. So they both entered into a contract. So A bought at 40 rupees and C sold at 40 rupees. In the second month the market price was around 60 per kg. So trader A thought ok it is a very good price so that he wants to book his profit by selling what he had bought earlier to some other person. At that time C was very much interested he thought that ok still the price of rice can move up. So he purchased the same quantity from A at the market price of rupees 60 per kg. By the same time the trader B he is not really interested to do some activity he still expects that the price can come down. In the third month when the contract expires the price of rice was around 70 per kg. Now everybody should close their position because all the three parties are not interested in taking any of physical delivery of the good in this particular case is rice as the underlying asset. So the market price is rupees 70 per kg. So what C did he closed his position at rupees 70 and B also closed his position at rupees 70 per kg. Now let us sum up. A would have gained rupees 20 rupees out of this transaction. C would have gained rupees 10 out of this transaction. But B really entered into a loss because he expected the price to come down. At, at the end he lost rupees 30. If you notice in this particular trading we saw no rise exchanged between them. All the traders used the futures market and the price fluctuation the price variation in the underlying asset and they took advantage of the price variation to make profit. In this way more than thousand and lakhs of transactions are happening between traders across the world organized by an organization called exchanges. Thanks to the technology development, electronic platforms and inter internet revolution uh, that makes this process very simple. Now we can define what are futures contract. A futures contract is an obligation to buy and sell a commodity at some time in the future at a price agreed upon today. In the next video we are going to discuss more about margin and how it is leveraged in the futures market. Keep watching our other educational video tutorials to learn and know more about commodity trading. Kindly contact us if you have any doubt. Thanks a lot for watching this educational video presentation.